M4240 Bluetooth dial configuration. Please ensure we have sent you the following equipment. One card terminal, including battery. One paper roll. One telephone line splitter. One charging dock and the power supply unit. One pairing cable. This cable may be green or black. One modem cable. This cable may be blue or black. One access point and power supply unit with a blue line socket. You may have received one of two types which look like these. You may also require an ADSL filter as provided by your internet service provider. Pinch both sides of the printer lid firmly and pull up. Place the paper into the holder ensuring that the paper is feeding from underneath the roll and insert into the holder. Place the excess paper over the screen and close the lid. When the lid is secured in place firmly, you will hear a click. Remove the excess paper. Please note that if the paper is feeding from up and over the top of the roll, the receipt will print blank. First, you will need to remove the battery from your terminal by pressing on the release clip. You can then remove the plastic sheeting that is protecting the contacts. To reinsert the battery, lower the battery into the terminal with the small ledge to the left hand side and release clip to the right. Now push firmly on the right hand side of the battery and you should hear a click. The release button should be flush with the side of the terminal and should look like this. Insert the modem cable into the blue line socket on your access point. You should hear it click into place. The other end of the modem cable can now be connected to your telephone socket. If the telephone socket you plan to use is also going to be used for a telephone line, please connect the splitter provided to your telephone socket and then insert the modem cable into the splitter. If the telephone line is also used for your internet connection, even if the internet connection is connected to a separate socket, you will need an ADSL filter. This should be supplied or available from your internet service provider. You can now connect the modem cable into the ADSL filter. Or, if you are also using a telephone on the same line, insert the splitter first and connect the modem cable into the splitter. Now connect the pairing cable, also known as a serial cable, to the green serial socket on your access point. This should also click into place. The other end of this cable can be left loose. This cable is necessary if the pairing process is required at a later date. The pairing process is outlined in your user manual. You may now connect the cable of one of the power supply units to the red power socket on your access point. Finally, you will need to connect the power supply unit to your mains power supply. A green light will appear on your access point and the access point should beep twice. The green light should always remain on for your card terminal to take transactions successfully. To ensure your card terminal works effectively, the access point must be positioned with as little obstruction as possible to where the terminal will be used to take payments. Connect the cable of one of the power supply units to your charging dock into the red power socket on the underside. Ensure the cable is positioned in one of the slots at the back and place the dock on a flat surface. You can now connect the power supply unit to your mains power supply. Place the card terminal into the charging dock and a light will appear on the side of the terminal. The red light means that the battery is charging and when it turns to green it is fully charged. Full charge is normally achieved after two hours. To switch on your card terminal, 
Press and hold the blue function button until you hear a beep. Once you've heard the beep, you can release the blue button and after a few moments, the sale and refund screen should appear. Depending on the acquiring bank, your terminal may display connecting when first powered on. A receipt will print to confirm your terminal has successfully connected to the bank and is ready for use. If this receipt displays your acquiring bank as disabled, please contact the Technical Support Help Desk for assistance. To turn your card terminal off at any time, press and hold the blue function button again until the screen goes blank. You are now ready to begin use of your Spire Payments card terminal.